In this lesson, we are going to look at circuit elements. We are going to talk about passive and active elements, dependent and independent sources, and so on and so forth. Now, if this is your first time watching this channel, do well to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and share the video to all your friends. So let's start by defining what a circuit element is. So a circuit element is said to be the basic building block of a circuit. It is the basic building block of a circuit. And then we define an electric circuit as the interconnection of elements. So we can have the interconnection of voltage sources, current sources, resistors, capacitors, and then we say that this interconnection of elements is what constitutes a circuit or an electric circuit. Now our major concern in this video or in this lesson is to study the various elements that make up or constitute an electric circuit. So there are two types of elements in an electric circuit. There are two types of elements. Two types of elements in an electric circuit. The first one is what we call the active elements. And then we also have the passive elements. So what is an active element or what are active elements? So active elements are said to be elements which generate electrical energy in a circuit. So they are elements that generate electrical energy in a circuit. Now these active elements are usually voltage and current sources that generate energy to the circuits connected to them. So we can talk of examples of active elements and then we say we have example that is a generator. We can have a battery. We can also have a transistor, a transistor, and so on and so forth. These are examples of active elements. Now let's move, let's move on as we define what passive elements are. So passive elements, on the other hand, do not generate electrical energy or power to the circuits they are connected to. Now what they do is they receive electrical energy and they either store this electrical energy, they either dissipate this electrical energy or they either absorb the electrical energy. Now these passive elements do not also need any form of electrical power to operate. So examples of passive elements, we can talk of a resistor, we can talk of an inductor, we can talk of a capacitor. And so on and so forth so a resistor will receive electrical energy and then dissipate it as heat so long as we have a current flowing through it an inductor will also receive electrical energy and then store it as a magnetic field and later deliver this form of energy back to the circuit however the delivering capacity is not continuous it is temporal it is limited and then it is transient the same way we have a capacitor also receiving electric energy or electrical energy and then store it as an electric field and then it later delivers this energy back to the circuit only that it is not continuous as that of the inductor it is temporal transient and then limited so these are examples of passive elements now we said that for active elements they are usually current and voltage sources now we need to understand that there are two kinds of sources so two kinds of sources so the first is independent independent sources independent sources and then the second we have dependent dependent sources so these are the two kinds of sources, independent and dependent sources. So first of all, let's look at the independent sources. Let's look at the independent, independent sources. So we define independent sources as an active element that provides a specific voltage or current that is completely independent of other circuit elements. So an independent source is a source 
or an active element that will provide a specific voltage or current which is independent or in other words which does not depend on any other circuit element so by this we can have an independent voltage source as well as an independent current source so now let's look at the symbols which are used to represent an independent voltage source and an independent current source so for the independent voltage sources we can represent that by this we have the circle with the polarity and then this we write small v so this is an independent voltage source or we can also have this that is the usual the usual symbol that we use for a battery that is an independent voltage source so this is capital v and then this is moving so this is for independent independent voltage source this is for independent voltage source and then for independent current source independent independent current source so that is where we have a circle we have a circle with an arrow inside of the circle now the arrow basically indicates the direction of the current so this is an independent current source they are sources which provide a specific voltage or current that is completely independent or does not depend on any other circuit element now let's move on to the second one that is the dependent sources so for dependent sources that is the second one dependent sources these are also active elements in which the source quantity is controlled by another voltage or current now these type of sources are usually represented by a diamond shaped symbol they are usually represented by a diamond shaped symbol and so if you want to draw a dependent or the symbol for a dependent voltage source then you are going to have a diamond shaped symbol with a polarity inside showing that it is a voltage source yes so that is this and then for the dependent dependent current source so you also have the diamond shaped symbol with the arrow indicating the direction of the current so these are the symbols for the dependent voltage source and then the dependent current source now since the dependent sources are either voltage or current and they are controlled by another voltage or current source we are going to obtain four different configurations so we are going to obtain four different configurations and then we have the first one to be a voltage controlled voltage source a voltage controlled voltage source so usually the first source controls the second so the first voltage controls the second voltage source so this is called vc vs voltage controlled voltage source second we have voltage controlled current source and that is vc cs third we can have current controlled current controlled voltage source that is cc vs and then lastly we can have current controlled 
current source so current controlled current source so these are the four different configurations we can have as a result of dependent sources being controlled by another voltage or current source now to clearly understand the various sources we have in here let's consider two electric circuits and let's try to identify the elements as well as the sources in the circuit so we have two circuits here circuit one circuit two and what we are going to do is to identify the elements in here as well as the independent and dependent sources so for circuit one you realize that we have a b c these are elements element a element b element c this can be considered as passive elements so we have a b c and we call them passive elements passive elements again we have a 5 volt source here now how do we determine whether this is an independent source or a dependent source so in the previous section you realize that whenever we have a symbol like this then this is an independent source and since we know this is a voltage source then we say that this 5 volts this 5 volts is an independent voltage source so this is an independent voltage source and then lastly you realize that we have this source here now the moment you see a diamond shaped source then you realize that that is a dependent source now is it a dependent voltage source or a dependent current source you can see the polarity here plus minus so it means it is a dependent voltage source now you realize that this source is labeled as 10i which means that you have a current i controlling the source so since you have a current i controlling this voltage source it means that this source is a current so we have 10i 10i is a current current controlled voltage source so this voltage source is controlled by this current so it is a current controlled voltage source now let's move on to circuit b so as usual these are passive elements these two are passive elements we can ignore them and let's focus on vs So Vs is the symbol for an independent voltage source. So this is independent voltage source. I believe we are all cool with this one. Now let's come to 6i0. Now this is a current source. We have 6i0, that is a current source. And because of the diamond shaped symbol, it means we have a dependent current source now this current source is controlled by this current i naught which means that this source is a current a current controlled so current controlled current source current controlled current source so that's it for today's video Thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.